Knit hearts are a fun Valentine's Day project, and these little patches can be used in all sorts of ways. Attach them to a hat, a scarf, jacket, bag, or any other type of accessory. You only need about an hour or so for each and 12 yards of yarn. Okay, cast on seven stitches to get started. Turn it and go ahead and knit every stitch. Now this one's not super complicated, but there are a lot of instructions. So to follow this tutorial in the easiest way possible, you'll wanna have the pattern handy. We'll increase on row two, and the stitch we'll use to increase throughout this pattern is the KFB, or the knit front back. So to work the KFB, insert the needle knitwise, wrap the yarn, and pretend as though you're knitting it as normal, but don't slide it off the needle. Instead, swing the needle around to the back so you can catch the back loop, wrap the yarn, and knit it off. Then keep going. Knit every stitch to the last. And KFB again and the last stitch for another increase. That'll bump our stitch count from seven up to nine, and then you can turn it and knit every stitch for the next row. You'll notice the sort of trend throughout the entire project. You'll always work some sort of increase-decrease combination, followed by a solid knit row. Okay, turn the work, and we have a little repeat here. We actually have several little repeats throughout the project. The first one, though, work rows two and three three more times. You'll increase by two stitches every time you do that repeat, so you'll end up with 15 stitches on your needles at the end of that repeat. Keep in mind that this direction will now be the top of the heart where the bumps are, and this will be the bottom of the heart, of course, where the point is. Knit all stitches to the last. Then KFB. We've increased once here, so this will bring our stitch count from 15 up to 16. Then of course, flip it and knit every stitch in the next row. After that repeat, the heart is starting to take shape and you can definitely tell now which is the top and the bottom. We're picking up on row 16. This time we'll decrease using the SSK. To work that stitch, you'll insert the needle knitwise and pass it over for the first two stitches. Then insert your opposite needle through the front of those stitches, those past stitches, and knit. This is a left-leaning decrease. Then knit every stitch to the last. We need the bottom point to continue to grow and get longer, so KFB in the last stitch to increase. And of course, turn and knit all stitches for the next row. By the way, your solid knit rows will always be worked from the point to the top of the heart. So just keep that in mind if you get distracted and have to put it down and come back later. Now for another little repeat, work rows 16 and 17 three more times. Throughout this repeat, your stitch count will stay the same at 18 because you're decreasing by one at one end and you're increasing by one at the other end. When you finish that repeat, you're officially at the halfway point. Everything from here on out will be the opposite of what we just did. So picking up on row 24, we need to increase at the top now. So KFB in the first stitch. Then 
Then knit to the last two stitches and we'll work a different decrease. This time we need a right leaning decrease so our heart has the right shape and that's the knit two together. To work that stitch, insert your needle in both stitches and knit them as if they were one. Again, your stitch count will stay at 18 because we increased and decreased at both ends. Then you guessed it, knit the next row. And for another little repeat, repeat rows 24 and 25 three more times. Now keep in mind that your stitch count will stay the same throughout this repeat. You'll have 18 stitches throughout. And here's what your heart will look like at the end of that repeat. We're picking up now on row 32 in those written instructions. You'll knit to the last two stitches. Then knit two together. This will decrease your stitch count from 18 to 17. And of course, turn and knit the next row. You're definitely seeing a trend here. We've got another repeat coming up and our repeat for this section of the pattern is rows 32 and 33. You'll repeat those two more times. And at the end of that repeat, you'll have 15 stitches on your needles and this is what your heart will look like. Picking up next on row 38, we'll decrease at both ends now, SSK first, then knit to the last two stitches, and knit two together. That'll bring your stitch count down to 13. Then turn for row 39 and knit all stitches. We have one more repeat now, rows 38 and 39. You'll repeat those rows three more times. And that'll bring your stitch count back down to seven. All that's left is to bind off. To do that, you'll knit the first two stitches Then pass the first loop over the last. Then knit the next stitch. Pass the first loop over and repeat. When you have only one loop remaining, pull up on the loop, trim a tail, and then pull the tail through the loop. Now one thing you'll notice is the bind off edge is much boxier than the cast on edge, so we want to fix that using the tail. You can tinker with this a little to get the best results, but I found it worked really well to run it along the bottom edge here and pull it to sort of smooth out that hard edge.
But like I said, play with it. Do what works best for you. Now you may want to keep these tails in place. You can sew it onto your project or you can simply weave them in along the edges and finish it off. So you can view the pattern completely free on my website. I have the link to that in the description, but it also might be helpful to have a printed copy in front of you that you can physically check off the rows as you complete them. Obviously not required, but if you think that that is something that will help you, I will link to that in the description as well. Behooked.com is our shop for all of our PDF patterns. We have some digital pattern bundles that I've curated some fun projects I think that you'll like to work on, but you can also make your own bundles with some pattern discounts for buying multiples. We have some t-shirts if you're into that sort of thing, and we also have some printable cards, bands, and tags that you can add to your gifts. You can provide the care instructions, personalized notes with the cards, and that sort of thing thing. So if you do want to support me and my work and the channel and what we're doing here, that's a great way of doing so. Happy knitting and I'll see you in the next one.